Today I would like to show you how to comp over jazz blues using chords with only three simple shapes. I think one of the most important things when you comp is not to play too much because you need to leave space for solo players. And also there are only six strings on the guitar so if you keep playing something like this you know, like a bigger chords like this, uh, it would be difficult to play these chords effectively when you really need them. So with that being said, you know, less is more. So um, today I would like to show you uh, how to comp using shell voicing. Shell voicing is a two note voicing that has third and seventh of the chord. Here, uh, I have the, my handout um, that shows uh, shell voicings of C major 7 chord, C7, C minor 7, and C minor 7 flat 5 in the various different positions, So, uh, which you can download actually uh, from the link below of this video. Okay, But I kind of would like to start off with uh, playing shell voicing on the middle of two strings. Uh, like a fourth string and then the third string. Uh, here's a couple reasons. Um, when you do like a shell voicing on the middle two strings, you have a space to add tensions or like other notes from the chord uh, on the top two strings, like this. And uh, if you add a bass note, I mean, like the root or the fifth of uh, the chord, you can play like you know Freddie Green style like rhythm like. So um, those are the reasons why you know I think it's very important to start uh, playing shell voicing on the middle of two strings. Here I have uh, typical 12 bar blues uh, progressions in F. In the first measure you have F7 and then goes to B flat 7, F7, C minor 7 and uh, F7 in the fourth measure. B flat 7, B uh, diminished 7, F7. A minor 7 and a D7 in the 8th uh, measure, G minor 7, C7, and uh, F7 and a D7 in the 11th measure, G minor 7 and a C7 in the 12th measure. Um, this, you know, this uh, progression can be downloaded also uh, from the link below of this video. So please do that if you're not familiar with uh, you know, blues chord progressions. Okay, now. Uh, when you take a look at the uh, all the chords uh, in the F blues, you only see dominant seven chords and minor seven chords, except uh, B diminished seventh uh, that I'm going to explain later. So uh, you know, when you take a look at the uh, this uh, handout, what you have to you know look for is just the C seven chart, you know the C seven section and uh, the C minor seven section, and uh, like I mentioned uh, before. Uh, we are going to start off with doing shell voicing on the middle of two strings. So you need this and that, and this and that. Uh, in the first measure of each line, uh, you have shell voicing uh, based on the root on, on the fifth string. Here in the second measure, uh, shell voicing is based on the root on the sixth string. So, I mean, you know, by doing that, you know, uh, by moving the root up and down, um, you can transpose, uh, you know, C7 chord into like a different chords. 
Um, so now I'm gonna look for uh, F on the sixth string or the fifth string. Now here I have F on the sixth string at the first fret. F can be also found on the eighth fret on the fifth string. So, you know, based on this root, you have third on the fourth string, uh, and then this is on the uh, seventh fret. Flat seventh of the chord is now on the eighth fret at the third string. I also have the root on the sixth string, and then uh, based on this root, I have flat seventh now on the fourth string and major third on the third string like this, first fret and the second fret. Notice that you know uh, they are inverted uh, because of the position. Okay, and you also have B flat seven. Uh, now B flat is here and here and also here, which is just one octave higher from this first note. Uh, you have shell voicing here, open and the first fret. This one is kind of tricky when you do kind of, you know, mute. So you may want to try up here. And also, here's the root, B flat, and then you have this shape. Okay, now uh, we have D7. Uh, D is here, and it is here. This would be a little bit too high, but here, D's, you know, you have D on the fifth string. So based on this root, you have D here, I mean the shell voicing here. Based on this root, you have uh, shell voicing here. And uh, we have C7, which is just you know, exactly from this chart, here and here. This is the one with the root on the fifth string, and then this is the one with the root on the sixth string. Like that. Okay. And um, now let's take a look at the uh, minor seven chords. Uh, so the difference between dominant seven chords and minor seven chords uh, is the third. Uh, dominant seven chord has uh, root third fifth flat seven. Uh, minor seven chord has root minor third fifth and uh, flat seven, like minor seven. So all you have to do to make dominant seven chord to uh, minor seven chord is just to lower the third. And if you're, you know, uh, when you take a look at the uh, F seven chord, this is the flat seventh, and this is the third. So you just lower the third, and then this is the um, shell voicing for um, F minor seven. And then the chords that we are looking for are G minor seven, A minor seven, and C minor seven. So here, now root is here, you know, G, so this is the uh, G minor seven shell voicing. And uh, the, di uh, the difference between A minor seven and G minor seven is just a whole, uh, whole step apart. So now we have the shell voicing for A minor. And then when you go up to the fifth fret, uh, the uh, C on the sixth string, that's eighth fret. So this is the shell voicing for C minor. Okay, and uh, we also had uh, like F7 here. When you lower the third, which is uh, now is actually third, is on the fourth string. So when you lower it, this is the shell voicing for uh, minor seven chord. And then uh, this is F7, so this is F, uh, G minor seven. And then uh, A minor 7 is here. And then C7 can be found here, down here. Alright, so um, except uh, B diminished 7, we can play F blues with this shape and this shape for dominant 7 chords. And my, for minor 7 chords, this shape or this shape. So uh, you may have already, you know, already noticed, but uh, all the dominant chords share the same shape of this. So whatever the bottom note is, like say, you know, the for F7 chord, I have the uh, first fret on the fourth string. The top note is always one fret higher. Like this, you know, like this too. F here. 
and then the third is on the bottom of the voicing, and then now one fret higher. For the B flat seven, same thing. For F, uh, for C seven, same thing. You know, all you have to do is just to remember where you have the root, because this shell voicing can be used for C seven or F sharp seven. So that's one thing that you really have to keep track of. But uh, like I said, uh, all the dominants are played with this shape. A minor seven chord can be played with this shape or this. The one is kind of like a. Uh, uh, one is like you know perfect fourth. The other one um, is like a power chord. So all you have to do uh, to play F blues is here. Either this shape or this shape. Now, um, let's apply, you know, these three shapes uh, to play blues. So if you pick F7, uh, like this voicing for F7, um, you get to kind of stay, you know, around this area of the neck uh, to play all the other uh, chords as well. Let's take a look. So F7, B flat 7 here, F7, C minor 7, F7, it's really easy transition. F, uh, B flat 7 and uh, B diminished 7 uh, has the exact same shell voicing as B flat 7. So when you comp with shell voicing, you can take it as B flat 7. And F7 and A minor 7 is here, D7 is here, G minor 7, C7, F7, D7, G minor 7, C7, F7. On the other hand, uh, if you start from um, F7 shell voicing, you know, up here, you kind of, you know, uh, get to stay in this part of the neck. So here, this is B flat 7. Oh my god, F7 and then B flat 7 and F7. C minor 7, F7 and then B flat 7. And then again, B flat diminished 7. I mean, B diminished 7 is the same as B uh, flat 7. Okay, F7, and I could go down here, but uh, you know, like I said, you know, I kind of like to go up here. So, A minor seven, D seven, G minor seven, and C seven, F seven, D seven, G minor seven, uh, C seven, and then F seven. So, you know, like you you've seen, um, when you start from here, you get to stay down here, and then you know when you up, you know, start from here. You get to stay around here. So uh, when you practice comping, uh, spend some time, you know, with the voicings down here, and then maybe next you can, you know, uh, spend more time um, up here. And then once you get used to it, uh, you can mix uh, these two together. Okay. So uh, let's see. You know, for this type of exercise, I need somebody to, you know, to play the rhythm. So um, I have the uh, my. Uh, Extra harmonics like stereo looper like 720 uh, this is one of my favorite uh, pedals uh, to travel with you know this one is you know good for so many things and then this is just one of you know one of my favorite things to do okay anyway here we go That's it for this video showing how to comp over F blues using uh, shell voicings with three different shapes of this, this, and this. Once you get used to it, 
um, please start adding tensions or like other notes from the chord on the top of the voicings or you may want to try playing shell voicing on the different string sets to come up with different sound you can also solo using uh, shell voicings you know when you play them independently thank you so much for watching this video please feel free to contact me if you have any questions my contact info as well as uh, my uh, website address can be found below this video please also subscribe my youtube channel uh, for future performance video as well as lesson video i hope you enjoy this video and see you soon